Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and we're playing more Blue Red Devotion and Pioneer. We are on the play, and I think we'll keep, we'll keep this hand. There's ley lines, some lands, and some interactive stuff. We'll just start off with Steam Vents tapped. Should be able to slow down whatever's going on. Hopefully. Uh oh, this is spirits. This is fucking spirits. Alright. Well, I guess we're just gonna pass and see what happens. Maybe we can try to eat this thing with Merfolk Trickster, or we can just kill it with Is It Charm? They play rattle chains and give it hexproof. That's actually really good for us. So then we can is it charm the rattle chains. No oh, lofty denial. Okay. For one damage. All right. Cool. Uh, let's just kill this thing now before this loses any value. You can sacrifice it if you want, it doesn't make any actual difference. Okay. No. It is countered. Good, good job. <laughs> now they might start holding up Spell Queller here. But we have Leyline, we can play around it. Okay, let's. Card is okay. Sure. I think Master of Waves is actually going to be helpful. No attacks. <laughs> Summoning sickness. Yep, they can still hold up Queller now. Might have to start worrying about Skyclave Apparition as well. It definitely looked like they had Queller in hand and they were just debating trying to cast it. There's no way they're not holding it up because they, they're definitely like playing around it. Okay. So we're probably going to have to play this Brazen Borrower as bait. All right, here comes the bait. At least it gives us the master, and hopefully we'll be able to live through it. No, it's just another lofty denial. Fuck. Okay. Well, I don't have enough devotion to really make full use of this just yet, but... I think we're fucked. We're actually like dangerously close to dead. 
They, they need to put like two things in play or another lord. We're going to take at least 8 damage this turn. Alright. Well, I mean, not alright, but... So what happens? This is not quite enough because this is 12, 14, 15 damage. Spirits is a very tough match for this deck. Hopefully we're going to be able to use these uh, wizards lightnings to help us, but we'll have to see. Problem is like this overwhelmed apprentice is not typically very good against them. Show me something. <laughs> I was just hoping I could bait something out of them. No, they they have already done the math. They know they're alive. They did the math. All right, we want Wizards of Lightning, and I think we want um, Mystical Dispute. I don't think Master Waves is that great. Um, let's take out Omen of the Sea. Actually, you know what? Thassa's Oracle is not really that good. I can take out Oracle here. Leave in the Apprentice because at turn one it actually enables the Lightnings. It still scries too, so I guess that's fine. Is there anything I would take out for the third master? Maybe one Gadwick. This is not a match that's going to go long, so that four Gadwick is not going to matter that much. Uh, it's not fantastic, but it has engine pieces in it, so I guess I'm going to keep it and pray. And go Ley Line into Overwhelmed Apprentice, hopefully scry into some actual important spells, and then go from there. Uh, bottom and bottom. <laughs> Not ideal, for sure. Mausoleum Wanderer makes sense. Let's get in our attack. So they can't actually block. Well, I mean they can, but it would be stupid to block, so let's just take our free damage. I guess let's play Spectral Sailor before Lofty Denial becomes a thing. This gives us four Devotion, so next turn we can play Nykthos and potentially draw a card with it, failing anything else. This is typically not a good match for us, though. What's over? Oh, that, we milled two really good cards here. Ah, uh, yeah. They played that because it actually plays around Dispute. That makes sense. 
It's a very good idea. I don't think that they'd actually block here. I guess if they block, I don't really care that much. Yeah. Get rid of this selfless spirit. I'm willing to take some damage from Wanderer to trade with this spirit. draw wizard's lightning I want to use it probably no uh, well I did not draw wizard's lightning so there's nothing particularly else we can do with this turn that matters very much fire is not a bad draw by any means I'm still gonna be somewhat concerned about dispute but probably less so this turn we still have a bunch of cards and we don't really have much going on right now. Which means we might want to play Fey of Wishes in just block mode. Yeah, it's fine. Well, it's not actually bad. Probably should kill this thing. Question is, what's the best way to go about doing that? I can't. I guess they could actually play another spirit this turn. I also have the altar I have the option they could they have rattle chains potentially available I could bounce this thing and then try to kill this with is it charm does potentially walk into rattle chains though I'm trying to think about how big of a deal that might be five six mana potentially which I might want that actually I guess if I use the is it charm in this thing first um I don't really care if they sacrifice it then, then maybe I can bounce this and play this Bay of Wishes. 
All right, that's what I'm gonna go with. I think that's the safest thing to do here. Because I don't want to bounce this with Brazen Borrower and then they sack it and then I have to pay an extra two mana just to keep it with Borrower. Interesting, so they did have that the whole time. I guess here I can just bounce the eagle and this thing will die. So. You know, this is this is still the same scenario as it was before though. Um Yeah. They'll have to sacrifice it if they want to keep this in play. This is not, yeah, I don't know. Like, it was really difficult if they had this in hand. Like, there wasn't a lot of good ways that that could go. This thing is dying no matter what, so you may as well sacrifice it right now. You know, this, this should not be a debate for you. Yeah, okay. Okay, and we pass. Uh, no attacks. That was, uh, this is not great. That's very not great, actually. Fuck. So I, I'm gonna have to lose a creature. So I guess this is the best I can do. I think I'm just dead no matter what I do. Harbinger is not going to affect the calculus at all. All right. Well, I don't know. Spirits is really hard, and like even with Is It Charm, I don't. Maybe we need to have like Shock or something in this deck. If we want to, because the was that the mausoleum wanderer makes the removal very difficult when they have this in like turn one. So, but the thing is, you need to be able to do like three or more damage in order to kill most of the creatures. So I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to find a good answer in our list to this deck. Uh, there's there's got to be some way to attack this. But to be honest, I think spirits is still like really strong in pioneer. So probably one of the best decks right now because like. The power of like Wander and Spell Queller together along with this really powerful um, aggro clock is it's not to be laughed at by any means. Our, our tempo tools only do so much and uh, they can break through them pretty easily. So it is what it is. I expect to like lose the spirits a lot of times just because yeah most of our stuff doesn't like block very well against them and even though like th this helps like a little bit yeah, like you saw rattle chains, like that was just such a fucking blowout too, because like it's effectively a counter spell on a creature that then just like murders our face. So, I don't know. I, I don't have a good answer for this, and I don't expect that I'm going to anytime in the near future. So, I mean, I guess if you have like skylashers in the sideboard, it can help. But 
they also have sky of clave apparitions that can eat that too which is another part of the equation it's it's really hard so I, I don't know what the right answer is anyway that's all i've got for today so i will see you again tomorrow take it easy everybody